Many of my clients ask me, Armin, how do I actually become more effective in my management? How can I get to grips with this whole complexity? Now here's part one of my top 10 tips on managing your business more effectively. Hi, I'm Armin L. Rao, the founder of A. Leonard Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur, and I am changing founders into leaders. Once the point has come, the time has come, where a founder has a team of 10 to 15 people, uh, is on seven digit revenues, etc., and has a whole lot of complexity to manage. That is the point where you have to change from the founder status into the leader status, and I'm helping you with my tips, tips and tricks and methods to become a better leader, manager, and hence have less sleepless nights, obviously. Now, um, this video is about uh, the five, the first five tips on managing your business effectively. And uh, here we go. Tip number one is you must have a concrete strategy and a concrete plan. A sound strategy and a concrete plan, I should say. Now, what is a sound strategy? A sound strategy is a strategy that clearly defines where the focus of your business is and where you, uh, how you want to uh, make money. Do you want to differentiate or do you want to uh, play um, um, more a cost-driven model? That has to be defined very clearly and also a strategy always contains a roadmap on how you are getting from the current position to the future position. A plan then is actually a list of actions about who is doing what and by when. So you really need the plan that is the next level down from the roadmap that makes the whole implementation more concrete. I actually have uh, one or two or even more videos about vision and strategy on uh, this channel, so feel free to have a look at them um, if you are looking for more inspiration on how to craft a sound strategy. The second tip for managing your business more effectively is to delegate tasks especially when your team becomes bigger and when your company becomes bigger, it's impossible to do everything on your own. So uh, get rid of tasks that you can delegate to others. It also has the nice effect that uh, you can empower people, uh, give them the trust that they can actually do that. And by that, <clears throat> you will have a lot more of engagement in your company. Number three is you have to measure the results and you have to do that on a monthly basis. That is not only revenues, it is also the cost. The most important things are the revenues and the cost, the direct cost and also the sales general and administration. So you have to measure that on a monthly basis. You have to have a report uh, in, an o in, a, in a company for, for whom I worked many, many years ago, we called it the monthly book and every manager would have that monthly book and could then analyze the numbers and agree on corrective action based on what the monthly book told us. The corrective action that I have just talked about is the fourth tip that I have for you to manage your business more effectively. Now, corrective action is important, you know, because just analyzing the numbers and doing nothing is not um, is not the right way uh, to, to get your business forward. The other thing also is that, um, you know, acting is very important. And if you have uh, the right action, do not think about all the negative consequences of that right action. A right action stays a right action, even though it has negative consequences. So it, display, live this executive discipline of, you know, implementing the corrective action. That's tip number four. And if things go worse in your company, shorten the control cycles. So for example, if you had monthly meetings, turn these monthly meetings into bi-weekly meetings. So that, for example, you're talking to the customers, uh, to the customers, not to the customer, to your employees, uh, and the people who are responsible of the task. Talk to them maybe on a bi-weekly basis. But I would not do more than weekly. Don't overdo it. 
uh, I once had an example from a big, big database company who were in a crisis that was at, actually at the beginning of the millennium, you know, uh, when this dot-com bubble burst that was at the very beginning of the internet wave uh, where many companies were in trouble and uh, this company actually introduced hourly uh, status meetings, which is a complete um, nonsense. Uh, it does not only uh, drive uh, everybody completely crazy, it also um, exaggerates completely uh, the, the urgency of the situations and nobody gets anything done because everybody is in status meetings all the time. So here's the summary, part one of my top 10 tips for more effective management. First of all, have a sound strategy and a concrete plan. Number two, delegate tasks. Number three, measure results on a monthly basis. Number four, introduce corrective action if you are not on track. And number five, if things go Worse, shorten the control cycles, but don't overdo it. If you would like to learn more about how to manage your business better, how to become a better manager, how to change now from, from founder into manager into leader, please feel free to apply for a consulting session with me by clicking on the link underneath this video. You can alternatively write me a WhatsApp. The number is on the screen right now, and we will have a chat and see if there is potential for me to help you. The session that we are going to have is completely free and it is not a sales session. So I'm not trying to sell you something to sell you my great programs or whatever. It is more about helping you um, and also it's really about gaining your trust. And if your trust is, is high after that session uh, and you decide to work with me, that's really great. And uh, I can help you to make your business more effective and to create less sleepless nights for you and a much more uh, profitable business. If not, it's also fine. You go your own way and at least you have a plan in your hands that helps you to manage your business better in the future. This was Armin L. Rao from A. Leonard Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur. And don't forget, lead yourself.